Have you ever wanted to turn your Stardew Valley game from something like this into something like this? Well, today I'm gonna show you how to mod your Stardew Valley game. So let's dive into it. The first thing that you're going to need to do is look up Smappy. Smappy stands for Stardew Modding API. You can find it on Nexus Mods. It is free to use and free to download. All you have to do is make a Nexus account. And once you do that, you'll be able to download Smappy as well as all other mods that are available on Nexus Mods. So the first thing we're going to do is click on manual to do a manual download of Smappy. Again, this is free. You don't have to pay for it. All you do is click on slow download and let that download. While this is downloading, we are also going to need a program that allows us to extract files. I use WinRAR. I will link it down below. Again, it is free to use and safe to use. So click on that link below if you don't already have one. Once we have WinRAR, we are going to take the file that we downloaded and drag it over to our desktop. And then from here, we are going to double click on the folder and this brings up everything that was downloaded in Smappy. We can see a lot of different files here, but we are going to download the correct file for our system. You can read all about this in this readme section, but we are going to install for Windows since I have a Windows computer. We're going to click on more info and run this anyway. And then from here, we can see this Mappy installer. It is going to ask us where we want to add or remove Smappy. So we're going to type in one because we're going to insert it into this file path. And then after we do that, it's gonna ask us if we want to install or uninstall. We're gonna type one again because we're installing Smappy here. And there we have it. We have Smappy installed or at least the first part of it. From here, we are going to copy this launch code so that when we launch Stardew Valley from Steam, it'll launch with Smappy installed. We are going to open up Steam and find our Stardew Valley game. Right click on the game and go down to properties. In here in properties, we're gonna input that code into our launch options. So make sure you press control and V to copy it in here. Again, don't leave anything out in that line. You need everything in here. We are going to exit out. And just like that, we have Smappy fully installed. So when we click on play, you will see what comes up in the background is the Smappy installer. We can see in here all of the mods that we have added to our game, any mods that need updated and any mods that are broken. And we will talk about that in a future video, which I will link down below as well. Now let's test this by downloading one of my favorite mods, the to-do list. So that way you can see how you actually download mods and get them into your mod folder. As you scroll down, you can see a lot of information about this mod within the description. You see the installation guide, how to use the mod, if there's any configuration or compatibility, a lot of information in here. And once you scroll back to the top, we are going to click on requirements to see if there is anything else required of this mod. Sometimes you'll need things like the generic mod configuration menu. You might need content patcher and it'll let you know right here if there's anything else that you need. And if you have any other questions, you can click on the post tab up at the top and leave your questions for the community or the developer themselves. And now to downloading the mod, we click on manual up here at the top and we see that we have two additional files that are required of us to download this mod. We're going to want to make sure that we download these afterwards so that everything runs smoothly. We'll click on download and we'll click on the free version of this download, which is the slow download. And then from here, we're going to go back into Steam, click on manage and browse our local game files so that we can find our mods folder. If you don't see your mods folder here, just create a new folder and name it mods. We're going to grab our to do mod that we just downloaded from WinRAR and we are going to drag that into our mods folder. After this, we will want to launch our Stardew Valley game to make sure that everything is running properly. If we have forgotten any of the additional files, Mappy will be sure to let us know, but you'll just wanna make sure that everything is running smoothly. Now we can head back to Nexus Mods and check out all of the mods that we can download now that we know how to mod our Stardew Valley game. From things like recolors to Stardew Valley Expanded to the fishing mini game mod, you can skip the fishing mini game. There are so many amazing mods out there. Just make sure that you have all of the correct additional files and that none of your mods clash together. And that my friends is how you download Stardew Valley mods to your PC. If you have any questions, please let me know down below. I'd be happy to answer them. And don't forget to subscribe and like the video. It really helps me out. In the next video, we will go over how to update your Stardew Valley mods. So keep an eye out for that. Bye.